then let's have a closer look at the origin and brief history of future studies now that you know the definitions and principles of future studies. Uh, modern futures research as a field uh, basing its approach on scientific foundations and principles or at least similar to those kind of principles and as an attempt to acquire and anticipate knowledge of the future is rather new even though the ancient futures thinking is very old but this modern future studies is rather new and this is one of the historical points that uh, can be remembered as a starting point for scientific academic future studies. Osip K. Flechtham wrote a book, The Futurology, in 1943. And uh, it is considered a starting point where scientific-oriented paradigm has gradually been established. Ever since 1940s and 60s, it has been conducted as a scientific field and later it gradually evolved into an academic discipline. Especially at the end of World War II, uh, there was a growing interest, actually huge interest in future studies. And it was uh, based on military and strategic uh, stakeholders that uh, had this interest. Efforts to anticipate events through scientific analysis of trends and various indicators of change were launched especially in the United States of America in 1950s. And uh, I would like to mention at least two very important figures, Hermann Kahn and Pierre Vac, who was originally from France. They especially started uh, developing methods and also added technological forecasting component to this field, which started from Flechtheim's more philosophical and sociological reflections. And then after this, Again, philosophical and sociological dimensions stressing the importance of forecasting alternative possibilities and considering also long-term impacts and consequences of current policies uh, started to gain ground in France in 1960s. And uh, Gaston Berger, Bertrand de Journel and uh, later Michel Godet were key figures developing this kind of sociological prospective thinking set especially in the context of regional foresight. Then several other countries were also pioneering uh, United Kingdom science policy research unit in success, Sussex, Germany, Netherlands, Japan were all very active in this field. And Finland uh, actually introduced future studies in the late 1970s. And uh, Penti Malaska, Mika Mannerma, Osma Kuusi and others were very active figures uh, at the beginning of this field in Finland. And I also had the opportunity to conduct studies at VTT at that time. So current future studies when we think that we can already say that we have established paradigm, what does it really mean? It means that, for example, here in Turku, we have international master's program and doctoral level program as well. There are uh, many university level courses, programs, as I mentioned, chairs, but also regularly organized conferences and also a lot of methodological development going on. And about the methods, key methods, horizon scanning, scenarios, Delphi. There are many uh, methods that are either qualitative or quantitative or their uh, combinations, so-called hybrid methods. But there is a tendency that in earlier decades, uh, mathematical modeling and simulation was very popular. 
But nowadays, actually, from mathematical modeling, there is a trend towards methods for experience that let us experience futures, immersing in, emerging in, immersing in the futures, or uh, futures games, etc., have been developed. <laughs>